Alright, yeah, welcome back to another video. We're doing a little Taco Tuesday real quick. I don't know how well y'all could see, but. This is. More or less how I run my setups. Got this one already rigged up. Usually run about a two to three inch, two to three ounce egg weight, heavy duty swivel. This is 90 pound, about a foot and a half of 90 pound cable. It's coated cable. I like to do two, three ways, but um, I'm really not picky with my setups. Um, I usually just go with what I could find. This is also made by me. I just put it in this bag. This is double J hook. Mustad hook. This one is also. This one's a J and a treble. Single J hook. This is not how I. I don't like to put my weight on my leader. My buddy made that one. So what we're rocking with right here. Just show y'all how I make them real quick. It's about the size of the three ways I use. It's a little short, it'll do. Gonna you wanna take your sock, whatever you call it, up to you. Put it in one. These socks are a little big for this leader line that I that I got, but this leader wire. It's alright. Just um just pop it out a little bit like that. Get your crimps. Crimp it down. Just make sure you crimp it down what you want right there you could cut that a little bit if you want really don't matter it's all up to you next you can take one of your hooks we're gonna go with the mustad probably about a eight up Eight out must that hook. Have one free sliding. Yeah, we'll go double. Double must that and then we'll go double treble on our next one. Then you get your other one. Put your sock. Eater. Run it down. Just 
spread it like that so it goes in both little holes since these are too big crimp it down crimp it down crimp it down crimp it down some more crimp it down some more clip off your excess this is basically what we got right here double J hook one sliding some people put beads on here and stuff but you don't really need it let me show you how I rig it up real quick I do put a braid right here when I tie my knot to my swivel. That I do do. That's how we do it right here. We go. Wait. Wait, free sliding. And then you go wait to bead. Wait to bead. To swivel. Double wrap it. eight times seven to eight times back under and then over if y'all want to learn how to tie perfect knots there's a bunch of youtube videos put a little bit of saliva pull it tight there you go free sliding Double J. That's how we do that. We're gonna make another one, but we're gonna go double treble. Same thing. Same deal. Take a little bit more leader line this time. Clip it. Some people do like to put their weight here with their leader and they put a stopper but I don't know that ain't for me I don't like I don't like doing that never been never liked it I've done it funny I've made so many different leaders but I used to put my weight there, but I feel like it weighs down your bait, and if the guard could feel some tension on there, I prefer free sliding. I guess it depends where you're fishing, too. I don't know if y'all saw that, but that's all you do. Take your cramps, crimp it down, cramps. Crimp it down. Crimp it down. Cut off your excess. 
If you got kids running around, be careful because that will poke their feet and it freaking hurts. Same thing. Take another sleeve. Put it in. These are some freaking badass treble hooks, man. You don't need too big, you don't want too small though. Well, it depends. Just preference. If you're keeping guard, then yeah, bigger the better, right? But if you're catching release, you might want to get some rustaways or use small hooks, but I usually keep them. Give me some good old gator guy. And while we wait, we hydrate. Don't own rights to that slogan. <laughs> Crimp away. Cut your excess. There you go. Now that right there is a big guard eater. That'll do some damage. That will do some damage right there. Alright guys, that's basically how I do it. That's all you need. This is all you need right here. Alligator guard leaders. South Texas.